Hello everyone, it's FunkyGamer26 here and today I'm back with another epic banger commentary video. Today once again I'm going to be talking about some topics because this is all I fucking do. But I'll be going over some things that are pretty important. So the first topic I'm going to be going over is the state of my channel at this point in time. Unfortunately, and I hate to admit it, my channel at the moment is kind of dying. And the reason for this is because I haven't been consistently uploading over the last couple of weeks. This is due to me just being completely tired or just being completely sore after work, seeing how I have a manual handling job now. Like, I used to go from having like a thousand views a day to probably about like 600 now. I mean, I'm not really complaining about it or I'm not trying to sound like I'm complaining about it. I'm just being completely honest that my channel is on that downwards hill. Um, unfortunately, I did have the realization that this one day was going to happen, but I didn't expect it to happen when it has happened now. And another thing that I feel that also contributes to this downward spike is I honestly feel that the 3DS Pokemon games are starting to die off now that other Pokemon games on the Switch are coming out. Which, once again, unfortunately is pretty sad, but unfortunately that is the inevitable. And in all honesty, I will hate to see when these games die because now there's not even really that many people that play them in general and like half the people that play them are just like fucking kids that cry about hackers so yeah so what i want people to take from what i've just said is that whilst my channel is sort of on that downwards hill i'm not going to quit as of yet but if it continues just continue just like keep going down and down and down to a point where i'm getting like 500 views a day or something like that then i'm probably going to be done with pokemon and probably youtube in general i don't want to make it sound like you must watch my videos you have to like them you have to subscribe for me to be here obviously all that stuff is optional but it's very supportive but um yeah essentially if my channel continues to keep on going down then i will have to leave Anyway, now that the most serious part of the video is out of the way, now I'm going to talk about some other banger topics that I have to talk about because some people are fucking stupid and I have to actually mention these because if I don't, people are going to probably end up carrying on about it or shit like that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is selling fucking Pokemon. This shit I hate so bad. So the thing with people who sell Pokemon is that they're doing essentially what we're doing here, where we give away Pokemon, except they just make a bunch of Pokemon and they fucking sell it online and sell it on eBay. And this shit is stupid. Like the reason why I do giveaways in general is that it stops people from buying these shitty Pokemon. Because let's be real, the not, not any of those Pokemon, none of them are going to be legit. They've just got a fucking tool like PK Hex or something made the Pokemon and they sell them online. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because a couple of weeks ago, I was looking on eBay for some more 3DSs for giveaways. And I came across this fucking account. I'm not gonna say the name because I honestly don't want anyone to go there. And I did some math. They sell Pokemon for around like $5 each. And I did the math. Apparently they'd sold around 12,000 fucking Pokemon, which is ridiculous. I mean, 12,000 times fucking $5, that is a lot of money. And I look at this and it's just sad. Like, the who and why would you sell Pokemon? Like, I understand why people do it for the sense that they want fucking, they want to make money off it. But in reality, like, if it wasn't for people who give away Pokemon, then there would be a lot more people that would actually turn to buying them, which is kind of sad. And the reason why I'm mentioning this, and this is actually even a while back, like even before I saw this, is because I was on Twitter, everyone's favorite social media platform, and I found a fucking account called ShopFunkyGamer26. Someone would get my Pokemon from my giveaways and fucking sell them. That is ridiculous. So what I'm trying to get at here is if you are participating in my giveaways, don't go and sell my fucking Pokemon, because if I catch you doing it, you are not going to have a good time. Anyway, with that out of the way, I'm now going to move on to the next topic. So the next topic I'm going to be talking about is my social media accounts. So the only social media accounts I have under my name, which are real, is my YouTube channel and my Discord account, which is obviously people can see in my Discord. But these are the only two accounts that actually own to me. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because, well, me and Mikasa and a couple other people, I think Yami was in a VC, and we found the Funky Gamer 26 TikTok that isn't even owned by me. 
whilst I don't like impersonation of my um, social media accounts, I do kind of find this pretty funny, in all honesty. I never knew I owned a TikTok, so, you know, have a look at this profile picture. It's a banger, like, it's got a skull, you know. All this person does is just re-upload clips of my other, other like, giveaways and stuff. In all honesty, I don't care, but just giving everyone the heads up that the only accounts that are actually uh, mine are my Twitter account, which I forgot to mention before, my Discord account, and this YouTube channel, of course. Anyway, now I'm going to move on to the next banger topic, which will be monetization of my channel. In all honesty, I don't actually understand why I have to fucking mention this yet again. But my channel, in general, is not eligible for monetization, and even if it was, this channel would not be monetized. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because still, people randomly come to my channel saying I make money off giveaways and all this shit, but where am I getting this money from? I don't get money off YouTube, I don't sell Pokemon, because I already find that fucking morally wrong. Um, you don't get money off having subscribers on YouTube, as this person apparently claimed, that I can't even show the fucking comment anymore because I deleted it. But, essentially what I'm trying to get at here, is that I don't make Pokemon giveaways for money. I give away Pokemon so people don't have to pay money for something they can get easily for free. Like, this is something that actually really pisses me off, because of the fact that these giveaways... Right, well, all, all of these giveaways were intended just to help people out. That's my entire thing. Like, obviously, I do argue with some people about it, especially anti-hackers, and I fucking hate them. But what I'm trying to get at here, and what I'm trying to say is, I do these giveaways to help other people. I don't do it in the intention of getting money. As you can see, I don't get any money from it. And another thing I wanted to quickly mention is the reason why sometimes my videos have ads is because sometimes it has copyright music in there. If you use copyright music on YouTube, obviously the people who make the mu music have the right to add fucking uh, ads to your videos. So sometimes you'll get ads on my videos, but I don't get any money from that. It's the people who actually own the song, which is fair enough in my opinion. So in conclusion, no, I don't make a single cent off these giveaways. And even if I could, make money off it I wouldn't because I already find it morally wrong to make money off giving away fucking Pokemon and the final topic I want to talk about for today is people stealing mine and also me casters Pokemon for YouTube subs this is another thing that I personally find morally wrong because not only can these people not even make their own Pokemon which is kind of fucking sad they then give away their own Pokemon impersonate us or just completely copy everything that we do because they cannot find their own style and they just want to be us but they honestly can't the reason why i'm mentioning this is not only this person that i'm going to be talking about in this specifically but it has happened a couple of times before where people will literally just copy my titles my thumbnails fucking they'll literally just copy the entire video format and then they'll just give away one of my own pokemon the uh, reason why I'm mentioning this is I'm going to show two screenshots on screen. One of them being my Pokemon, and the other person that's in question here, I'm going to show their Pokemon. I'm going to blow their OT out because they don't deserve any clout. They don't deserve anything from me. But you have a look at these two Pokemon. Try to find the difference. The only thing that is different is the OT, which I'm not going to fully show because, once again, these people don't deserve the clout. The thing is that's really sad about this is that this person specifically that I'm talking about, you know who you are, so you're going to watch this. The person who um, is in question of this, I've already talked talk to them as about it, and I've already told them that they give away my Pokemon, they tried to sell Pokemon, they spam people, they're a pain in the ass. And um, as of making this video right now, after asking them not to give away my Pokemon anymore, they're still giving away my Pokemon in their shitty Discord, which is kind of sad. If you are a hacker who also wants to give away Pokemon, I highly appreciate it and also encourage you to go make your own fucking Pokemon yourself and also try to make your own style of giveaway because I get sick of the fact that people always try to copy me and look, I understand that there's only a certain amount of ways that people can give away Pokemon, like you can only really do it on Wonder Trade, trading people in the global trade system, but you don't need to take my Pokemon and then put your OT over it and think that that's okay because it's fucking not and you're also a piece of shit for doing it. But I want to see people actually like do and show different ways of giving them Pokemon away because like 
I like to see people try to like have their own originality on giveaways and stuff like that because it's just cool to see other people trying different things to give away Pokemon and help other people. Like, I'm not trying to say you shouldn't give away Pokemon because I do it and I'm obviously better than you. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is if you want to give away Pokemon, try to put your own spin on it. Try to make it creative and try to make it your own. You don't have to copy me to be fucking successful. I mean, look at Mikasa, for example. She used to do these trades where she does it in reverse, where you ask for the Pokemon, you put it on the global trade station, she trades it. And she's been successful because she doesn't do it in the same way that I do, but other people can get different Pokemon. And that's what makes it special for her because it is completely unique and as well as my giveaways are unique. So, in conclusion to this topic, I just want to say, in general, please, if you are a hacker, or just even not a hacker, just someone who hoards these Pokemon that I give away, please do not make videos giving away my own Pokemon, or rebranding my Pokemon. It's pretty sad to do that, in general, and, um, come on, just try to be original, try to make your own Pokemon, and try to give away Pokemon in your own way, you know? That's all I'm trying to get at. Anyway, that's honestly all I had to talk about for now. I'll probably make another commentary video in the upcoming weeks about something, because someone will do something fucking stupid. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, anyone, and I'll catch you all later on.